Welcome to clickmeproject.com. Let's we discuss about post localization and segmentation of optic disk in retinal images using directional match filtering and level set algorithm. Normally, OD segmentation is a challenging task mainly due to the blood vessel occlusions, ill-defined boundaries, image variations near the disk boundaries due to the pathological changes and variable image conditions. Spef specifically, occurrence of similar regions near disk boundaries, irregular disk shape and boundary are the most essential aspects to be addressed by an OD segmentation method. The figure given below shows the structure of retinal image. Reliable and efficient OD localization and segmentation are important tasks in automatic eye disease screening. In our method, we propose a new, fast and fully automatic OD localization and segmentation algorithm developed for retinal disease screening. In the first step, we define the OD localization candidates or identified using template matching. Here the template is designed to adapt to different image resolutions. Then with the help of vessel patterns on the OD are used to determine OD localization. By the information of detected OD center and estimated OD radius, a fast hybrid level set model which combines region and local gradient information is applied to segment the disk boundary. Here we use morphological filtering to remove blood vessels and bright regions other than OD that affects segmentation in the peripapillary region. From the OD location, we find the cup regions and by using cup to disk ratio, we estimate the given image is normal or abnormal level. This is the flow diagram of our project. In the first step, we estimate the optical disk size. An important parameter that needs to be determined in our OD direction and segmentation algorithm is the size of the OD. Most of the research works in the literature estimates this parameter by averaging OD diameters using a subset of images. Using the field overview of the camera and image resolution, we formulated a new approach to calculate the OD size. The image footprint is calculated by Finding the ratio between area of FOV and the number of pixels in FOV. In the next step, we estimate the OD localization. In the OD localization, we first estimate the background normalization. To reduce the false detection of OD candidates, we apply a oversmooth background image was generated by average filtering using a square window three times the size of the estimated OD radius. The size of the filter chosen is larger than the OD in order to capture the slow varying background. In the next step, to locate the OD candidates, a binary template where the disk given in white is assigned as a 1 and the background is assigned as a value 0. The radius of the white circle in the template is the estimated OD radius. Since the purpose of template matching is only to provide OD candidate locations. Since some regions such as those composed of exudates, PPA and myelinated nerve fibers may also give high correlations in the template matched algorithm. We are able to remove false positives and locate the OD center by using one of the most prominent characteristics of the OD, the main vessel or cats originating from the OD center. This was provided by using directional match filtering. Thus we find the OD localization. After locating the OD regions, we provide the OD segmentation. In the first step of OD segmentation, we provide the saturation detection in red channel or Y. The region of interest is the cropped OD regions. In the red channel of the given retinal images, we find the saturation detection in red channel or OI. Next step is blood vessel removal. Here we use ASF to perform morphological close open filter with a series of structural elements of increasing size which allows us to remove vessels 
while retaining the shape of the papillary region. Next step is bright region removal. Here we use morphological reconstruction to suppress the bright regions that are lighter than their surroundings and areas also connected to the image boundary. The unwanted bright regions which are connected to the ROI border after ASF were removed by using morphological reconstruction. The next step is level set segmentation. The level set methodology was first proposed by Osser. The basic idea is to embed a propagating front implicitly as the zero level set of the higher dimension function. Next step is least square ellipse fitting. Here the curvature is used to define an internal force to make the evolving counter smoothing during the hybrid level set methodal deformation. The final curve may still appear irregular due to the influence of strong blood vessels. To provide for a smooth counter, we fit the segmented OD boundary with an ellipse using the least square optimization. This step generates smooth OD borders that can be used for cup to disc ratio computation in glaucoma analysis. Now we are going to explain running process of our project. Just run final.m file. Here it gets the input from user. This shows the background subtracted image. This shows the green channel extracted image. This shows the detected OD regions by using template matching. This shows the background subtractor and blood vessel suppression image. This shows the here the figure displays iterations for detecting the OD regions. Here this figure displays the OD mask. This iterations displays the detection of cup region. This will segment the cup region and finally it provides the counter for cup region. After that by using CDR value we calculate the whether the given image is normal or abnormal. The CDR value is displayed in the command window. Now I am going to explain the running process for abnormal image. In the first figure displays the background eliminator image. The next figure displays the green channel estimator. This next figure displays the OD localized by using template match. This denotes the background subtractor and blood vessel suppression image. In this image we can provide the OD masking by using this binary. This will provide the iterations up to that OD regions. Here this figure displays the iterations made to detect the OD region and finally provide a counter to the OD boundary. After that the iterations will be provided for cup region. This iteration made the This provide cup region segmented and after that it will calculate the CDR values and finally it will display whether the given image is normal image or abnormal image. Thus we segment the given retinal image and finally we detect the CDR value for the given image and finally we calculate the level of given image. Thank you.